It's it's my okay. Never mind. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with another Patreon pick from our uh, patron Chuck. Thank you for your support, Chuck. I really appreciate you, bro. Um, I think this is Chuck's first pick on Patreon, and we're gonna be listening to the band Badfinger. Um, off that, uh, it's off the album Wish You Were Here. I think it was released in 1974. Yep, it was their seventh studio album. Um, and the song is called In the Meantime, Some Other Time, I believe. Yeah, In the Meantime slash Some Other Time. Um, I've never heard these guys before. I don't know of anybody in this band, um, but I'm very excited. Uh, I know Chuck has a great taste in music and he's a good dude. So let's go. If you guys aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon somewhere down there. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free and it really helps the channel out. Bad finger. In the meantime, some other time. Three, two, one, get it. Freaking strings too, holy shit. Oh, fuck. What an intro, huh? But in the middle of the ocean, things gonna be this way. To speak of love, devotion, and die. First you must realize. A man can you spare the trade? I love the nautical vibe of it.
using so many different instruments. I fucking love it. That piano is sick, just constant. Like about a sailor who's out of sea. I wish the drums were a little bit louder in the mix, but he's been he's getting down back there. Well there's so many different things happening. So I don't blame it. That was cool, man. Good pick, Chuck. That was good. They were um, definitely using like all kinds of different instruments. Like the strings were a great touch. Um, he had really good vocals. I think it was um, Mike Gibbons did the lead vocals on "In the Meantime," but the vocals are also done by Pete Ham, who's also guitar keyboards. Joey Molland does vocals and guitar. Um, Mike Gibbons does drums, keyboards, and lead vocals on this track, like I said, and Tom Evans is vocals and bass. Um, there was spoken Japanese words on No One Knows as well. Oh, sorry. Wikipedia. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really, really good. I enjoyed uh, Mike's vocals. Uh, the keyboards were probably my favorite part of this song, other than like the strings and stuff, man. The, the keys were going, and like the entire time... They were like the anchor of the song, and they were the, the through line, I felt like, through the different passages that they had. Um, I really enjoyed like the, the nautical naval theme, the picture, I wish you were here. You know, I kind of picked up on you know a few things, because my whole family was Navy, actually, my dad and my grandpa. So I, uh, I got a little bit of insight into that. So I kind of I picked up on a couple things, you know, because it just... You'll be out on sea, and your wife's cheating on you. You know, that's with all military, though. It doesn't have to just be Navy, but I think... The Navy just gets a, a bad rap and they're easy to um, the clown on, I guess, with like jokes and stuff, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of them uh, can take it on the chin. <laughs> so, um, you know, I really enjoyed the like the nautical theme that like I, I love boats. Um, I actually wanted to join the military there for a little bit, maybe for like a week when I was like 10. I wanted to join the military. <laughs> but then after that, I had, I wisened up pretty quick to that. But it's an interesting tale here being told. I don't know if this whole album has like a theme around it or if it's just like this song or what. I might be missing the whole story. I don't know. But I definitely feel like there's kind of a story there, kind of a narrative. Um, the lyrics were very interesting and in how he like said certain things about, you know, 
I don't know, the certain situations that he was in. Like, it was just interesting, interesting song altogether. Um, it's very different. Um, it's, you know, it had the, the string, uh, the kind of string quartet sound. It had the rock sound. Um, there was a little bit of, I don't even know what the genre would be, but there was a lot of different things going on there. And it felt like a kind of like a hybrid of genres, which I think, uh, is our, uh, speciality on this channel. <laughs> and, um, I really enjoyed that. The drums could have been turned up a little bit higher for my taste, but I mean, it is what it is. They had a lot of stuff they had to try and keep level in this song. There's a lot of things going on. So I understand why they might've kept them a little low. Um, well, they weren't the focus of the song. Um, uh, also the bass, it, it showed up in a couple points, but I didn't really hear much from it, but I, yeah, I definitely would say my highlight would be the keyboards and the vocals and the strings. Definitely. Um, so yeah, this is from the album Wish You Were Here. If you guys have any other tracks from this album or any other tracks by Badfinger you think I might like, uh, please leave them below. I'll definitely check them out. Um, like I said, it's a very strange, not even strange, it's just like this uh, kind of a different new hybrid of genres for me. Like it kind of reminds me of Procol Harem. Is that the band we listen to? It, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but that might just be the nautical kind of vibe as well. I don't know. Um, that's really the only comparison I can really think of. This is pretty unique. I don't know. Wh where are they from? Okay, they're from... Okay, so they recorded this in London. Um, doesn't say where they're from. They're from... Oh, oh, they're Welsh. Oh, nice. That's awesome. There's a nice little picture of them right there, too. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was really good. Uh, I didn't um, really know what to expect from them. The... Album cover actually threw me off at first. I kind of thought it was an album that was like a newer album, just from like because I heard the bad the band the bad name <laughs> the band name and it sounded familiar to me actually. But I'm guessing there's another finger band that's uh, a newer one that I'm thinking of. But yeah, that was great. Thank you again, Chuck. Um, I think I'm out. You guys, know we have a Patreon right here. Go check it out, man. We are almost to 270 members now in our community, man. It's fucking crazy. It's uh. It's insanity, and I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for being there. Um, we get to pick, um, well, you guys get to pick all this amazing music and show it to all these people that don't know it, have forgotten about it, or uh, haven't heard it in a while, you know? And it's amazing. The comments I get, I read every single one, at least I try to, and everyone is very pleased with our work we're doing here. And um, if you want to come join the fun, uh, join the $10 Super Patron tier up, and you get one free request a month, just like Chuck did right here. And uh, I'll do a video for you. Just keep it under like 20, 25 minutes, you know. Just be mindful of my time because I don't have much. So I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to do that, uh, we have a great community. Great time over there. Come hang out. If you want to get access to all the block videos, Patreon exclusives, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can join any of those tiers that are on the page. And you'll get access to all the behind the scenes content, which there are hours of it. So go check it out. And uh, if that's not your thing, there's a PayPal link in the description as well for everything else. I had a great day with you guys today. Thank you so much. Bye.